Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people, the Neom here with another card quest uh, video and well, last time we finished finally the Dwarven Mountains, we killed the dragon, we unlocked uh, most of the things for the wizard, uh, we unlocked the Stormmaster class, so yeah, we'll be losing it now, there's still one item in here, the the third item for the dragon but we're gonna pick up that a bit later now i'm gonna go to the enchanted forest and unlock my final prestige class for the wizard uh, so here we are done here we need one more item and here we need a prestige class so so we wanna unlock the enchantress here a mistress of enchantments and illusions starts battle with a protective magic circle a chart and a illusion here so we're gonna need to play with Arcane School, Book of Arcana or the Crane Grimoire. Well, we have Arcane School, we have a Book of Arcana. Then we'll need uh, Mirror Scrolls or the Ward Scrolls. I'm gonna be using the Mirror Scrolls here. Uh, I wanna try them out. Uh, Ward Scrolls are pretty nice, but uh, yeah, I wanna try these. I mean, this is like flavorful, right? For unlocking the, the Enchantress to use some uh, illusion. And then finally I need illusion ropes and the arcane channel or the ring of the shielding. So ring of the shielding is here. It's a ring which grants us one armor for the first two turns of every battle and can be used to block attacks of six. That's pretty strong. Only two charges and takes two fights to recharge but that's pretty strong ring. And well I don't have the illusion ropes yet but I'm gonna pick them up on the way. And I'm gonna be using the Runecrafter's Mask to try to craft some nice items. So we have those. Uh, this item is very, 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 very broken. That's gonna carry us, basically. And, well, I chose uh, an all familiar. Makes me start combat with an extra illusion. And we can draw two cards. And gain a Chakane charge. So yeah, that's gonna be really nice together with Mirror Scrolls. And I didn't use the all familiar yet a lot. So I'm gonna try it out. So this can be anything. This have to. This is one of the two choices. One of the two choices. One of the two choices. And we need uh, illusion ropes here. So yeah. Anyway, so that's gonna be the setup. And well, off we go to unlock the enchantress. Well, hopefully I picked everything correctly. I'm gonna be playing with as a storm master, which we unlocked last time. We have plus one stamina and maximum arcane charges of plus two. A really powerful class with the items I usually like to play with. So Arcane School, uh, uh, it's gonna be amazing. And then this will be all right with it and this. Although these two are not my primary choices, but I do have to use them, so. Okay, here has some help if you wanna read it. If you're first time here, I urge you to go and watch my first video on this game and work it up from there. Uh, game is like uh, done, finito, finished, polished for a while now, so there is no outdated stuff there but if you want to watch my freshest content a little bit deeper run well then you are the right place we are finishing up with the wizard class here okay so here we are we start in the green woods we have some possible encounters here a really really big big piggy big piggy which looks like a dangerous piggy anyway let's start entering green woods the wind uh, gently moves the leaves of countless trees as you gaze upon the edge of the largest forest known to man. You've heard many tales about this place, wild beasts, bandits, and crazier things like man-eating spiders and even trees that walk. So many stories actually that you can't separate the truth from the myth. But you're after one particular tale today, the legendary beast, the Forest King. Surely if anyone was to slay it, then they would gain everlasting fame in the entire kingdom. With determination, you step into the woods. Well, as usual, the, the first turns start a bit easy off. So if we use the Runecrafter's Mask, we open a special shop after the fight where we can exchange uh, money for runes. So we'll always want to do that. It does a chain break as well, but uh, I don't want to think about it too much. I'm just going to click it. Okay, well, let's dispose of this. I did not play with this, so I'm going to be a little bit clumsy. Uh, but let's see. Force Bolt, deal 3 damage and stun. Chain cost minus 1, deal plus 3 damage and draw a card. So this one is going to be chained. Deal 6 damage to target, 2 additional random targets, draw a card, chain. Okay, we draw a card with this one either way. So this is a good opening card, I'd say. Also, 
it kills everything in the early games, so that helps. So to start, we don't have money to afford these more expensive, more usable runes, but we have a rune of greed. Lose 2 HP to gain 100 gold, and I'll be wanting to do that as much as I can. There we go. If I can afford this one, I'll get this one. If I can't, I'll probably buy the rune of greed. There we go. And well, we're gonna be self-inflicting some pain here in order to get a lot of money and some very nice items for the final boss. Okay, well, this is not undodgeable. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Thing is though, all of these hit for one and we have two one armor, so uh, let me just charge it up here. Also, I should not forget to click the runecrafter's mask, there we go. And well, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, well, this will fail, right? Yep, but... Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, you are dead. Okay, now we can use the Mangel Rune. Rift shuffles your whole deck and makes you draw a new hand. This is amazing. You can use this as a draw 5, basically. So whenever your hand is like empty or bad, you just reshuffle the deck and draw 5 cards. Uh, it's uh, pretty broken. So if you're struggling with Wizard, try to unlock the... Try to finish the first city. Where did I get the rune, actually? I don't remember where did I get the Runecrafters think I got it from a boss I think well never mind that if you're struggling with the game well oh I also did not buy the other thing and I should have okay I forgot you can buy both of them so is that really a big deal probably not uh, we don't we can't really self-inflict that much damage anyway maybe I should have started with some familiar which lets me heal now that I think about it. Still, I don't need that many of these. A little bit will help, but that's about it. Okay, we got some bears and wolves now. Let's do that so I don't forget. Um, let's, uh, let's charge up. I start with very little stamina. Only 9? Is that correct? Shouldn't I start with like 10? <laughs> Weird. Okay, well. Mirror image... Force bolt. Okay, if chained costs minus one. Well, I would like to chain that one. It's so weird to play with a different deck. Deal free and stun. Oh, and does more damage as well. Okay, this one needs to be chained for sure. There we go. Imprison. Undodgeable. Stun for three turns and draw a card. Chain costs minus one and draw. Arcane charges cost minus one and draw a card. Okay. I used that, so that's fine. Well, let's imprison the wolf, I guess. You are now mine, Wolfie. You are mine. Well, this start is pretty easy, actually, so I should probably not uh, lose too much time here. There we go. Okay, now, surely, okay. Increase max by one, increase this by two. I'm already at eight, so I'm gonna prefer stamina here. I'm a huge stamina fan, that's just how it is. And even though this has some potential, like inflexibility of play if you have more maximum, this, you straight up start with more resources, so that should be good, right? Also, there's something to be said about taking health here, so I can self-inflict pain more with the Runecrafter's Mask, but um, I'm just gonna take stamina instead. Okay, now let's buy one of these. Okay, some wild boars and bushes and stuff. Okay, this one charges. Interesting. Dodge, create two and draw a car two cards. Okay, let's dodge that. There we go. And again, let's use the Runecrafter's mask so I don't forget. And well, then let's play stun. Grants uh, shield armor to unjanced enemies, has a chance to spawn something upon that. Okay, let's stun that one. There we go, do that, do that, pop the concentration, I can do the disc here, there we go. Ooh, an enemy. Okay, it has dodge, uh, well, we are out of resources anyway, so this hits for one, we have one armor, so we shouldn't care too much. 
you use that, so that's fine. So this uh, first area will be just like a farming thing. We should start using this and while well, getting dimensional runes. I'm I'm failing horribly here. Charge. Okay, I'm gonna blink from this actually. Let me No that's fine. Let's blink. Okay, uh let's see now. Arcane disc, arcane flow. Well I prefer arcane flow here. For the crowd card draw. So how do we get arcane charges on, on this one? It's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Okay, let's use the disc on some boars or wolves or something. I can get charges from the from the crow. I should use that for sure though. Uh, let me think here, let me think here. I can do the crow. No, the crow, the alpha, all familiar. Okay. And that gives charges, so that's nice. Okay, force bolt, let's stun the bear. And we can use the disc. There we go. And then, well, we are a bit low on resources. Well, that one is stunned and that one does nothing. Okay. There. Oh. I should totally use these, though. Forgot almost already. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, and the turn. Bye bye. So let's buy one more of those and reshuffles your whole deck and makes you draw a new hand. Yeah, one more of those. There we go. So we're playing with a little bit with fire here, but uh, okay, one boar. Uh, we can dodge that. I want to get as many of these as I can and well doing this is the easiest way to do it so I can do split image dodge and create two and draw two cards that's pretty strong I need more arcane charges though so this has to be played no matter what and let's get those back okay now let's uh, start killing things off this is best chained uh, this dodges does it give us dodge or well, probably not uh, let me see. I'm gonna drop that. Let me draw a card here or two. Now this is really cheap, so we can do some force bolting eight damage. Uh, let's do the boar. Let's do the archer. Okay, now on a cane disc would be really nice. So um, let me do the owl. And well, that's four damage to everything, so that's exactly what we need. However, should we do it again? It's a bit sketchy. I'm gonna do that for sure. How about that? Mm. We're gonna start walking on the edge here if we do it, but. Um, I'm a courageous person, so... Okay, final area. Uh, this doesn't help, this doesn't help. Uh, this helps, okay. So I'm gonna buy another Rune of Greed. I'm gonna buy a Dimensional Rune. Okay. Giant Boar. Uh, charge. Okay, need to dodge that. Okay, thank God he doesn't attack twice. Okay. Whew. Uh, we do have one armor though, but that's not gonna help against so many enemies. Uh, so let me see here. Lightning charge is nice. I'm not going to be able to like 
cycle here forever, so I should keep that in mind. I could do another lightning charge. I can do force bolt. Uh, that's enough damage to kill the archers. And it's not super expensive. It will also make me pay only free for a lightning charge, which is pretty good. Then we can get some of that back. Okay, so this does 8 damage. Uh, well, 4 is enough. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be cheaper if we, if we chain it here. So let's chain it. Because I don't need it to do 8 damage. Okay, these two will die from the charges anyway, so now we can go for the boar. But I have to be sure here, I have like two two dodges for it. Well, these are basically free. Because, yeah. Uh, charges when distant, stunning and dealing da more damage. And rages at 30, gaining extra fury. That's pretty nasty, actually. It's pretty nasty. We can deal 6 damage to it, so it's still not gonna go like Super Saiyan mode. So what are we doing here? Are we blinking or are we doing double mirror image? Well, I only have one mirror image, so we have to blink, right? Charges when distant, stunning and dealing more damage. Can it do fury though? That's my question. So how many times will it attack? This might be our undoing, to be honest, here. Okay, I don't have enough mirror images, so I have to do that. I could draw here. I can also do concentration now. There we go. Now I can do mirror image, split image, dodge, create two, and draw to cards so I can do split image into mirror image and I think that's pretty fair deal actually uh, I don't need that right now but I sure wanna do it uh, let me <laughs> I should do that before we end but okay this just die off okay let's do a split image here there you go dodged Okay, now it's gonna attack once more. Now we're gonna do a mirror image. Uh, let me drop that off though. Wait, what? Oh, we damaged it. So... Oh, right. Forgot it attacks three times. We almost died here, by the way. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Uh, let me do so I wanna blink now but I do have some gain here oh we can do the ring of shielding I guess we could have used that in emergency so that's fine there we go uh, mm, a lot of card draw in my hand That's good. I need to increase that limit. This is not good, but I don't have better play right now. I don't think so anyway. Uh, well, if I can chain that thing, it will do more damage. Um, or we can just go for a pure blink here. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's do let's do hard draw and concentration okay I feel a bit safer now not super safe but uh, lightning charge will make me unable to blink so that's not uh, the best play I think Okay. 
Well, I hope I can blink and then... Well, I surely can't blink and mirror image. I just don't know what's gonna happen after that. Uh, okay. Show you worst. Okay, now it's distant. Okay, so blink solves this by itself. Okay. Alright. Uh, let me draw a couple of cards and gain an arcane charge. I'm not getting any arcane charges per turn, so that makes this a really, really tricky indeed. So if he charges, how many times it will attack? Well, we're gonna find out soon. Okay, disc. Uh, for a lot of damage. Uh, let's do it. I mean, we have to kill it, right? So we can just like stand here and uh, pretend everything's gonna be alright. Um, okay, I can break the chain here and kill it. Good. Okay. Uh, I can buy another one of these, and well, I still don't have enough for that one, but enough time allows you to go back in time and restart the current room. So if something goes back, well, you can uh, retry. <laughs> there you go. I wonder if you get, you probably don't get the items back though, so. Living green woods, green woods. As you sit on a stump and take some time to rest, you, your eyes settle uh, on the giant's boar's lifeless carcass. Though that, its eyes still seem filled with some kind of beastly rage. Uh, looking away, you take some time to think about your next step. You know of a small village of woodcutters not far from here. They could have good information about the forest and its beastly king. But you also notice the board left a path of thorn bushes behind, going back deep into the woods. It could be an easier path to replace territory. Well, we are going to the logging village. Here's where we will get the uh, last item we need to unlock the enchantress. So we're going to be replacing the Runecrafter's mask with her illusion cloaks. And let's see, well, we have some people here. Entering logging village. After a few minutes of walking, you find yourself at the edge of a large clearing with several wooden houses at the center. Something seems off though. As you get closer, you hear screams and see people running around. Bandits are raiding the village. You rush in to help the villagers, but suddenly a lumberjack comes out of the shadows, brandishing his axe and charging you with a crazed look on his face. You have no choice but to take him out. Before you know it, you are stuck between the bandits and the frenzied lumberjacks fighting for your life. Well, that sounds a bit scary. Um, okay. So some brigands and an archer. I don't see any special skills here. Retreats when close. Okay, a smart archer, a smart archer. So we got some health back from the... We got some health back from the, what do you call it? Well, killing the boss, finishing the room. And yeah, we can mulligan here. Okay, we have 10 of these now, so that's cool. Um, Well, it's not too bad of a starting hand. Problem is, my arcane charges are like really limited in this run, I realized. Only the uh, lightning charge fills them up and at quite a hefty cost as well, so... I'll not be able to have like a million of those, but two turns left, that's one armor for the first two turns of every battle. Okay, that's pretty cool though. I still wanna keep pressing this, get as many of these. I just might not use them, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, let's start with the lightning charge here. And then let's see, imprison, stun. For three turns and draw a card, chain cost minus one and draw a card. Uh, I'll do a draw here. And there we go. Then I'm gonna do inner strength. I'm gonna do a split image maybe. I could. Create two illusions and draw two cards. Well, I can like dodge an attack with that. If I have enough resources, that is. Well, I have an mirror image. Uh, I didn't draw any attacking stuff. Okay, you know what? Let me just draw here. There we go. Arcane Desk kills everything. Um, 
Deal 6 damage to target and 2 additional random targets. Okay, uh, but she'll kill everything, even if we press that, right? Okay, um... So should we use these to go down to 4? The question is, should we buy that red rune or not, actually? Probably not. Okay, so, well, allow it to go back. Yeah, that's, uh, this is better. I mean, if that, if we need to press that, then we already wasted a bunch of dimensional runes, right? Probably. There's still to gain 100 coins. I mean, I'm going to buy each one of these, but I'm not sure if we're going to be using them. <laughs> uh, let's say at four, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five of these. So that's, uh, we need to finish the run with five of these. And well, we probably can. So that's like 25 extra cards. Okay. Now let's focus on not dying. Uh, I'm still going to be buying these. And we're gonna be using them uh, in the future part of the run. But as far as the rune crafter goes, we are probably done with the dimensional runes. Actually, we have one more, 100 more gold. We're gonna buy another one, but that's gonna be it, I think. Okay, let's see the hand here. Um, let's say I could do a mulligan here as well. Draw into concentration. I like concentration. Six damage to everything. Well, these dudes have dodge. So if I kill that first, how does that work? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, they still have it. Okay. Well, we'll need another one then. Hopefully no surprises as well. That's one and one. Uh... There you go. Cane disc. So this deck is not very cyclable, but it does a lot of damage. Oh, I forgot to click the Runecrafter's Mask. Oh. Shucks. Uh, let's do it right away. Um, draw. Draw. Do that. Drop that, do that, okay. And bam. Alright. Something's not right. Uh, I have a split image and a mirror image, so we're probably fine, right? Okay, only two enemies, so that's gonna be good. We have to start taking that into consideration, though. Uh, I have enough right to kill both. Okay. Ugh. This is so much harder to play than the other one. Again, it's one armor charge that blocks four. Four. Okay. There is a problem with that one though. Not big problem though. This is really good for this deck. It starts with very little arcane charges, so I might prefer that actually. Uh this is free block though. Yeah, let's go with free block. It's really strong. Ah, uh, let's do that, do that. Good. Some more brigands, some more brigands. I don't like this start. Uh, let me mulligan here. Well, it's better. It's not super good though. But we are closer to our concentration, so that's nice. Okay, this will just kill three people. Transfer us into a werewolf after two turns. Well, we don't want that, right? In there. Okay. Um, so we got five armor. This is actually armor. And a lot of misunderstanding about the game for me came between because of that fact. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay. So how do we want to play this out? We can do these two. Well, I'm going to play Concentration, even if I don't draw three cards, I still get some uh, some stamina, which is good. Okay, I'm going to do Split Image here, I think. Um, but I don't know if there are enemies hiding here, so that's uh, a bit scary. I can do Lightning Charge. Well, I have some shield blocks here, in case something goes super wrong as well. And I may draw into some more mirror images. Uh, okay, let's see. It doesn't seem there are any hidden enemies, so that's fine. Okay, uh, let me drop that, do that. Okay. So no hidden enemies, I suppose. Uh, mm, a bit nasty situation here, let's draw. Let's do inner strength. Oh boy, do I hate this. Um, well, I have two of these, so let's drop one. Let's do an owl. Okay, I can kill one of them. There we go. So will there be any extra enemies? I really don't know. Shouldn't be. They would already show themselves right, and I forgot to click the Runcrafter's mask again. Okay. At least I'm not gonna have to like pain myself too much during the rest of the run, right? Um so let's see, leap spend distant regeneration too. Well that will take care of it nicely. Let me see. Uh let me charge. Uh disc. Okay, anything else? Uh, well, it's a good thing it is, because I want to press that. There we go. Okay. Well, that's good. I like it. And there. Hmm. Bye bye. Okay, we got enough gold for another one of the dimensional runes, which I like oh so so much. This start is the hardest part because we are playing on really low HP, so we cannot do any mistakes basically. Uh, Yeah, let's start killing stuff. Okay, let me charge. Okay, flow. Mm, yeah, that's good. Let's see if there is anything hiding. So we do that. If not, everything's fine anyway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there. Okay, split image. Uh, well, mirror image. Okay, good. Uh, light the charge, force bolt, force bolt, force bolt, and now the boss, let's get one more of these, Hans, Hans Moonkurst, oh Hans Moonkurst, hello Hans Moonkurst. Close access when distant transforms into a werewolf upon that or after three turns. Uh, okay. Alright, alright, dude. Alright. Hits for four. Well, we have enough armor for that. So let's call the numbers here. There we go. Blink. Probably not doing blink. Uh, let's do lightning charge. And. Let's see. Inner strength is good here. Mm. Force bolt. This one's so much harder to play. It's so scary. 
You can force both these two so they don't do anything basically. Because this will kill them. You dare force bolt it. Oh no, actually they're gonna be stunned. So that's a little bit of a waste of resources, I think. Throws access when distant. Okay, so we're not gonna be safe from that one. This one also throws access when distant. Hmm. You know what? Let me draw here. I'm trying to get... Um, well, not that. I'm trying to get a disc here. No discs yet. Okay, okay. We're gonna get them. Okay, because Arcane Disc will kill these two and just leave that one. And oh, now that's gonna make it a lot easier for us to manage. Alright, let's drop that. Okay, now I have split image. And we're gonna draw two cards. Maybe draw into some more blocks, maybe draw into something else. We have some more blocks here, so that's fine. Okay, let's end the turn here. Okay, let's mirror image from that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna drop that. Okay, arcane charge. Uh, no hidden enemies, so we shouldn't get any surprises here. Okay. Um... Uh, What I really need right now is to get more arcane charges, so draw into some more of those. Oh, I already have a concentration. So... Okay. Yeah, more lightning charges, good. Uh, drop that. Draw some more. There we go. So next attack we can avoid with a mirror image, no problem. Mirror images are pretty sweet, actually, now that I think about it. I imagine the werewolf's gonna be nasty, so I probably want to, like, get a lot of resources before that happens. I'm not gonna have my magic ward anymore, but... Well, ring of shielding, but... Uh, I think I'm fine with that. Something's happening. Oh, right, he's gonna transform anyway. Okay. Regeneration 2, uh, leaps from distance and draws its claws after 3 turns, giving, uh, okay, armor piece, calls 4 wolves at 20. Okay, so now the real fight starts, basically. Okay. Draws its claws. Uh -huh. Well, that does a lot of damage. We are not, it's not even chained. And turn here again, get even more stamina. Do another split image or just block for free with these two. I think here I'm just gonna block for free. Okay. I don't care about armor pierce, right? If I'm using mirror images to avoid the attacks, fury ones, so. I mean, yeah. Um, well, I want to chain this, I think. I also want to play that. I want to play everything. This deck has a problem with I want to play everything and I cannot play anything. Uh, I'm going to drop that for now. I will, will I draw into one more of these, though? That's a question. I think I will. Okay, do a lightning charge here. There we go. Inner strength. Okay, well, blink works. As well. Uh, we can smash it with a bit with that one. Okay. Well, this draws a card, which is always good. I just have to be careful. I think it's a little bit late already to be careful. Uh, let's see here. I don't think I'm gonna blink. I need another mirror image here. 
or the other thing? Lightning charge. There we go, another mirror image. So now we are safe. Okay. Um. Now we can draw some cards with this. I'm gonna draw two cards with this one. Not ideal, but um, I need to dig here. Okay, let's do inner strength. Good. We can lightning charge again. Which is really good. Um, okay, now I'm gonna use my last two mirror images. Which is a bit scary, not gonna lie. So what's most unlikely I'm gonna play next turn? I'm actually not sure. Okay, you're gonna get zapped quite a bit here. Dude. Okay, now he's gonna summon a bunch of wolves. Hole. Okay. There we go. Well, disc is fine. Uh, do I want to chain it? One and two. Like, I could do arcane flow. So now this does less damage, but it's also a lot cheaper. Okay. I can force bolt him down. Then I'm remained with two wolves, which are really not that scary. Okay, so that finishes the fight. That finishes the fight. Problem is, I want to use the Runcrafter's mask, so this will go up in price. So I'm gonna do a weird play here because I wanna trigger the run crafter's mask basically. Well I can do that first. Oh well if it goes wrong I can always use the the thing, whatever. Um yeah. Well it didn't go well, gonna tell you that. can flow but then I'm completely dry I'll draw into something right I'll have a mirror image it's not gonna help too much yeah nothing of these will because I'm out of resources ah oh, so greedy so so greedy we're wanting to play that Um, so I can leave this one to hit me. Then I can blink the big dude. Uh. Oh boy, these are like hor horrible draws. Um, yeah, with arcane charges, this deck is running dry, like super dry. I'm gonna have to use one dimensional rune here, even though I don't really want to, but... And we might like end in like this kind of useless hands like many times in a row. This is bad, this is what I really wanted to avoid, but... Well, that's a bit better, still not super good though. At least I have the bling this time. Really unhappy how this turned out. Okay, that's all right. I used two two runs though. And what do I do now? Uh, I'll just use the ring of shielding, I guess. Oh, that also gives the charges right. 
He's hitting me twice. Okay. Right. Well, this is a bit too close com for comfort, right? Well, one, two, three, four runes for the last fight. Not what I wanted at all. Just because I was greedy, I wanted to have more and now I have less. Hopefully people learn something here. Don't do what I did. Uh, okay. We can dodge with that and protect with that. So he has like... I should probably focus on trying to kill him though. Okay, that's good. Ugh. Yeah, not happy, but at least we milked something out of the wrong crafter's mask. Better than nothing, right? Max increased by two. I'm not gonna increase it by two because I have problem getting to like max anyway. So let's just do that. Okay, I'm gonna get five HP. Good. I can buy that. I cannot buy another rune here though, so. Okay, a bandage, sure. Leaving Logging Village, when the chaos finally settles, you ask the remaining villagers about what happened. Ever since the Countess men stopped coming to protect the village, these bandits have been pillaging us without mercy. Hans and his companions had got deep into the woods to get powers from the moonstone and defend the village, but they came back completely mad. If the bandits hadn't attacked now, they would probably would have killed us. After hearing their story, you think about going towards the Countess castle through the bog, or going into the woods to look for that moonstone. Well, here it is, the final piece of the puzzle. Magical rope specifically designed to fit the needs of arcane illusionists. Increases health by 4, make your split image spell cost minus 1 stamina, and make a start battles with Charge one and one illusion. Get it one illusion, one charge and dodge and attack when used. Okay, we can dodge and attack with it. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna equip that. So no more room crafters mask. Uh, I think here. Okay, this is a bit weird. So I can go down, but if I go full down, I'm not gonna be able to go full middle next time. These are quite intertwined. I could go like Wolf Woods, Black Castle, Spider Woods, Beast Trail, and then my last run I can go the Bog, Rotten Cops, Dead Gardens. Yeah, let's go like that. Okay. So, Wolf Woods. Okay, well, some more wolves. Wolf Woof, entering Wolf Woods. You've been walking for hours now and the sky is getting darker by the minute. It will be night soon and already the moon is shining a pale blue light through the branches. And finally you hear them. The wolves <laughs> howling in the night sky, ready for a night of hunting. It won't be long before they find you. Further into the woods, a faint eerie light is shining. The hole seems to come from there. You step forward. Okay, well, now we don't have to farm anymore. We farmed up four of these and well, we can get a bunch of gold during the run, but I have to heal up a bit first before I'll be using those. So yeah, um, let's see. Feral man transforms into a werewolf after two turns, throws javelins from distant. Okay, well, this doesn't look super dangerous. I also want to fill this one up. These we can use once per fight, so that's fine. Okay, well, let's start killing things. This only does, does like, what, free damage. So let's do a flow first. Uh, let's uh, kill a feral man. They seem to be, like, a bit more threat. Let's uh, lightning charge here into really strong this. So the run will pick up the pace now, I think. Uh, okay. Well... Let's do that one. And, well, I can defend no problems, so... Should we just kill it? Well, if there's more enemies, we have some problems, but I'll probably be fine. Okay, and, well... There were none. Alpha Wolf. Let's see, what do you have? 
Make suggestion that enemies gain a fury. Alright, so. Well, he has dodge. Undodgeable stun for free turns and draw a card. Chain costs minus one and draw a card, right? Well, we can throw this into some wolves. Uh, reducing damage on this might actually be good because it will also go down in price. Uh, this one is like super clunky card, actually. Like super, super, super clunky. Okay, now this one is cheaper, so we can kill some wolf boys. There we go. Oh, well, we actually removed the dodge, which is great. We can kill it now. There we go. Charge up, straight up. Uh, blink. Remove that. Remove that. Do that. Okay, kill another one. And... Well, need more cards. Need more cards. There we go. Bye bye. Okay. Oof. It's picking up. It's picking up. So I'm not sure where I when I should use these. I should use them before the next shop, basically. And I'm not sure when the next shop will come. Um so if these are chained, they are cheaper. Well I want them to do six damage though. Okay, could have been worse, could have been way worse actually. Uh, let me see, 6 damage, 6 damage is good. There we go. Drop that, uh, draw a card, do that. Okay, we can get some charges from both Owl and the other thing. So, let's do the Owl first. We can kill that one. Um, yeah, sure. And now, let's see. Do I have any charges? I don't. So, just in case there are a lot of enemies coming here, I'm gonna save my resources and end the turn. They're not. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. And that. Okay, cool. Lightning charge. And well, we can do another lightning charge. Or this is really good. We need it. Let's do another lightning charge. Uh, another mirror image. That's good. Ugh. Dropping arcane flows. I would have never have guessed I would be doing that. But uh, I guess here we are. <laughs> uh, right. Oh. Well, I mean, arcane charges too. Would be nice if he had three. three so, uh, in prison, undodgeable stun, and draw a card. Uh, yeah, sure. There. Well, I definitely want to use some of these. Not sure how many though. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna mulligan here. I don't like this hand. I want an arcane disc to start things off. Okay, I mean it precisely kills like three enemies or removes dodge from that thing, so it's really good. I mean another arcane disc just finishes the fight here basically, so... Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Any hidden enemies? Nope. Okay, that's useless. That's useless. Let's take that. Okay, cool. Ooh, couple of werewolves. Well, that's a lot more enemies than last fight, so a couple of discs will not do it here. I have concentration the starting hand, so that's a good start. Uh, let me say... Let me use that. I wanna use one, though. I don't wanna overdo it here. Okay. Let's do that. Let's see. Um, Blink probably will not do against these, so let's drop it. Um, 
Let's do concentration. Well, it would be cool if I get some damaging spells game. How about that? Six damage. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. It would be better if it's not chained. Although there are quite a few enemies that will die to six damage, so... That one was a miss, that one was good, sort of. Uh, let me kill that one. Yep. And I can kill... Wait, wait, wait. What's with all the killing all of a sudden? I need some blocks here, probably. Well, I need another arcane disc or something like that. Uh, let me draw some cards here. A lightning charge is good. Okay. Uh, let me do. Let me do a draw. That's nice, actually. Eight. Okay. Well, hopefully there are no hidden enemies here, since this is like such a big and strong group. Uh, let's drop that. So well, that one we can use. Although we have enough mirror images. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And another arcane disc, which we cannot use, sadly. Um, we can blink this. Yeah, let's blink this this turn. There we go. Oh, right. Uh, in that case, just mirror image. Totally forgot I have the charges. <laughs> Alpha work and works. Okay, okay. So these are like uh, uh, werewolves on steroids. Like compared to them, these feral men are like. Child's play. Well, I want my arcane charges. Although my arcane charges generation really improved, I'm starting with May way more now, so it's not as sketchy as it used to be. Also, first couple of spells are really cheap. Well, I want my arcane disc. I would like to chain that, I think. Um, well, actually. Well, it would be nice if it does if it does 12 damage. Well, that's exactly what we need. This will not draw a card, though. Uh, a bit of a tricky situation here. I could use an Owl. So that one does 10 damage. Now this one does 8. Now it does 4. And this one does six. Well, six is good for that one. There we go. And then six is good for... Well, that one, kind of. Four. Well, four is good for these two. There we go. And... I don't think I need that just yet. It's a bit pricey. Let's do Arcane Flow instead. Well, I can nook one of them down now. Mm, yeah. Well, slowly and surely we are thinning them, the numbers. Okay, this will give me charges back. Okay, I think it's time for that concentration. Five. Uh, this is a bit pricey. Okay. Right. Uh, well, that will kill that one. There we go. And now only this one remains. Um... Uh, Okay, let's just avoid its attack and hopefully nothing else spawns. The 
This is a really good hand to refill the hand though. Mm. Yeah, not sure what to do with that one. I mean, I can slam it into its face. Nah. This will do like a bunch of damage to it. Oh, too bad I don't have enough another one. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's dig for it. <laughs> blink is really good though. Glad I did that. I'm gonna blink now. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Um. <laughs> we can do that. He has dodge, though. Okay, I think we're blinking here. There. Well, it's a bit silly situation, to be honest. I need my... Uh, Lightning charges, there we go, to get some more of those, and now... Well, I have the charge, so he's gonna kill... well, not really. Well, we did complicate things up here. Another lightning charge. I can imprison him. I mean, he's not immune to stun, so that gives us the chance to do whatever the heck we want, right? Yep, pretty much. He's gonna be stunned for like three turns or something crazy like that, so whatever. Wait, is this undodgeable? Didn't he have dodge? Oh, does the stat thing remove the dodge? Could be. Well, I feel courageous, feel courageous here, so I'm gonna do another run of greed. I should be able to finish with 8 HP here. Whatever the game has in store for me, so... The moon touched. That's the answer. That's what it has in store for us. Does anyone charge? I hate chargers. Okay, moon touched. Uh, leaps when distant and draws its claws after three turns, gaining one armor break. Calls four wolves at 45, four wolves at 30, and four wolf werewolves at 15. So this dude will spawn a lot of things when we push him over the limit. Okay. Uh, it has fury one, so we attack twice blinking will be like relatively useful against it though lightning charge is good against this kind of enemies so i'm considering actually to keep this hand although it is a bit risky okay let's start okay i can imprison something if i want i would like to kill something first though I don't have any way to generate stamina, so it's a bit scary. Like some draws would be nice. Well, that's good. Uh, I think I'm gonna be playing that, it's a bit expensive. Now let's do concentration. We have to draw into something good, right? Okay. Um. Hmm. Not happy, <laughs> not happy. I think I'm gonna do split image. Blink, and then split image, and then I do something, something. These will replace themselves. Yeah, well. I got a really defensive card, so let's do the best we can with it. Uh, so I'm gonna do mirror image first. That way my blink will make them extra distant. So now I think they will not be able to reach me. Yeah. Okay. Well, now finally I have something I can play with. Um, Force Bolt is not my card of choice to hard cast, but given no other opportunities, 
I mean, I could play that. I'm not gonna get dodge. But... Uh, I will draw two cards, which is pretty good. Let's do it, I guess. Okay, disc. Oh, disc is good. Disc is really good. Um... Okay, I'm gonna kill the werewolves. I have to be careful not to push him though. So 45. So what we wanna do here is I wanna kill his friends without pushing him. Um, this deals six damage. That's good for enough for that one. There we go. Okay, let's do inner strength. Okay. I can split image now into mirror image. I don't think that's good enough though. Need some more cards here. Blink would be really good. Well, there's the blink. I don't think I'm gonna be using in prison, so I'm gonna drop that right away. There we go. And although it does draw a lot of cards, this is a fairly balanced deck actually. Not too easy, not too hard. Have a lot of cash. Okay, do your worst. Okay, I'm gonna do a mirror image here. I could also do a split image to draw two cards. Yeah, let's get the maximum amount of illusions here. Uh, that was a big mistake. That was a big mistake. Um, Because now I don't have enough of these to to blink. So the whole plan was to blink and I have no items which can give me that. So I'm going to get some damage here in my face. Uh, okay, well, I can block that thing. Let me drop the blink. Uh, actually, I don't know. I can also do that. Dodge. Now I can leave this one go through, or I'm gonna leave it now. Then later on we're gonna block. Well, let's be more careful here. Okay, um, blink disc force bolt. So if I'm blinking here, I should really be careful not to mess it up this time lightning charge is good i definitely want to use it i can draw some cards here there we go well concentration is good so i can lightning charge and then i can concentrate for two will that give me enough to blink i think so yeah this is all right there we go Okay, now I can blink. And I have inner strength, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna mirror image into blink here. Such a tactical fight now, oh boy, love it. Um, so mirror image into blink. Okay, this should make them extra far away. He's leaping towards me, but he's like, there we go. Okay. Four wolves at 45. Well, that shouldn't be much of a problem. Well, that thing needs to die first anyway, so. Uh, I can lightning charge here. And inner strength. There we go. So now we are at five, which is a really good number to be at. Um, I can force bolt down his body or push it into his face. Um, he's gonna summon four wolves though, which is probably a reason to be safe fish here, sort of. Uh, you know what, I think I'll be fine there, plus we didn't even push it, so. Okay, let's kill his buddy there, there we go. Now, now's the question, what do we do? 
I mean, I can charge up again. Permanent, your split image spell costs minus one. Yeah, that's really nice. Well, the best time for, for us to push him is uh, when he's attacking. So if I lightning charge now, we're gonna push it during his attack and the wolves will be get summoned but not attacked. So I'm gonna have like a whole turn to take care of them. Well, that sounds really good. Let's see if it will work in practice. Okay. Got a mirror image here into split image, I think. Okay, there we go. How? Summon some wolfy boys. Good. Mirror image. And then split image. There we go. Okay. And now, well have some time to work on this menace here mm. well this is good it's a bit expensive though I don't need it to be that expensive and strong I'm fine with it doing less damage and being cheaper so let's do that Okay, this is a bit tricky now. This is a bit tricky. On 30 he's gonna summon 4 works and I don't want that to happen. I can do a concentration here. I'm digging and trying to find a blink. Okay. I can do the owl. For the same reason. Okay, there's the blink. Okay, um, so blink's gonna cost six. We can do mirror image into blink, which will make it cost five and make everything far away. I could do mirror image, mirror image to draw some replacement cards as well. That's not a bad idea. In any case, whatever happens, I cannot use energy now, right? Yeah. I mean, I cannot use the stamina. I don't know why I keep calling it energy. Okay. Let's end the turn here. This is a mirror image. I could do mirror image for the first attack and then blink away. Yeah, that's an interesting way to approach that. We're gonna lose one of these, but I will get it again. Now he's far away. Uh, now that's a good way to get rid of things, but he's gonna summon more. Mid in flow here. That was actually a pretty good way to get him distant. So I almost feel like I bought myself a whole turn here. I'm gonna do a lightning charge. Okay. So I got a split image now. These these are no problem. These are no problem. I think I'm gonna split image him. Draw two cards. So that's a cheap way. I'm gonna gain some stamina this turn. Well, I can draw some more here, get another energy and that's really good. So each time we draw that, we are way, way, way better off. Okay. I'm not gonna use lightning charge right now. Mm, let him rip. So he's gonna leap and then nothing. Okay. Okay, we are at 11 now, so we have to make things count now. Uh, and frost bolt that dude down. Uh, let's start with the lightning charge here. 
and let's see i don't think i can afford another one let's do arcane flow into a force bolt or a disc okay this will summon more wolves this will summon more wolves uh four works four works um I don't know if I want to fight four works without the blink, though. So I think it's safer here. To, like, just kill one of these. Like that. Draw a card. Now we can, like, mirror image, mirror image if we want. We can split the image, mirror image. Like anything, really. I mean, we can get rid of that one as well. There we go. Okay, let's end the turn here. Okay, I'm gonna do a mirror image and then I'm gonna do a split image. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's draw some cards. Okay. Ugh, 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 ugh. We are running out of arcane charges. A hard deck to play for me. Okay, there's the blink, so that's good. So I can mirror image into a blink. <laughs> I remember I, how I controlled the dragon in very similar manner to this one. Uh, okay, well, what I need is like arcane charge, basically. I mean, I can use that to gain arcane charges, but uh, I'd rather not to. Let's see if we can, like, control this perfectly. End the turn. Uh, so, mirror image into blink. There you go. Yeah, there's my arcane charge, lightning charge. Good. And maybe don't use these to draw. Right? Maybe. Not sure, actually. Let's see what he does. Okay. Hmm. Well, I need to use it to draw to trigger some card draw. Okay, can do another lightning charge. Well, I can draw with that as well, but I'll be without, without arcane charges then. Ugh, I could have knocked it down probably already, but... Stun immune, so this does nothing. Well, it does draw two cards. It's like a worst version of the other card draw. I'm gonna do a lightning charge here. Okay, concentration's pretty good. Uh, That's pretty good. Well, more lightning charges would be nice. So I'm gonna do that. Um, you know what, let's do it. It's gonna be a bit risky, but I mean, that's happening either way, sooner or later. So I can use this twice. Well, it's not gonna help me much right now. This is best if we break the chain first. I could do that by drawing a card. It's gonna be more expensive then though, so we're not gonna be able to play it. Okay, let's do that. So basically we need lightning charge. <laughs> it's exactly what we need. Uh, arcane charge or whatever it's called, and we didn't draw it, so that's a bit concerning. I'll split the image. Uh crap. Basically crap. Okay. Oh, 
I can do a shield here and I don't know, draw some. This would be painful though. I could uh, do a dimensional rune, which I really don't want to do. What else can we do? I think best move is like to place, to play that, to block and then do that and then do that. Nasty though. Yeah, I drew into a blink, that's what I was hoping for. Um, we could do that. And then blink him, that will buy us a lot of time. There we go. Okay, uh, lightning charge, another blink, uh, six damage, oh well, that's good, it will trigger, oh no it will not, at 4.15, okay, there we go, we got a little bit lucky with that blink draw but Maybe it was like we had to get it eventually, right? So, still a bit hard to say when it was supposed to come. That's really nice. Okay, another concentration. Good, good, good. <laughs> Let's draw some cards. So, we can do some nice things here. We can do some nice things here. I can do another lightning charge. For some more of these these are always in high demand so okay i can do 888 eight, eight. so that's gonna kill two of them it might trigger and bring some more enemies into fight how bad is that it's pretty bad <laughs> it's pretty bad i don't want more enemies right now before i kill the ones that are already here 666 this will also bring them into the fight So I just can't play that. I have to use the force bolts pretty much. Still, ah, uh, four werewolves. He's gonna bring them in my face, right? That's the problem. Basically, in essence, uh, okay. Well, that's really nice. Oh, we can do that. We are out of charges, then, though, which is not a good place to be. Okay. Mirror image, mirror image, mirror image, yeah, whatever we drew, right? Yeah. Well, it's better to do it this way to chain it. my charges my charges okay i well, can't play these so bye bye oh there we go lightning charge and i also have a blink okay all right so i'm gonna blink now i guess uh let's do an inner strength i can do another lightning charge kind of This is so nerve-wracking, I can't even begin to describe it to you. Now this one actually doesn't leap. Okay, so I can do like just a basic blink here. Mm, 
I can force both. No, just gonna do basic thing. Yeah. Okay, now um, another light charge. Good. Inner strength. Okay. Ten. That's too much. I could do like how much does this do? If chained four, that's not enough. Mm, let's draw, although... Well, that's good. Uh, eight. Eight. Is eight too much? No, it's gonna be at 16. Okay, it's good. Okay, let's kill this dude then. Okay, good. We survived another phase. Oh, boy. So... I already have a lightning charge. Okay, let's do another one. I'm gonna drop these. Okay, now we're gonna mirror image his attack. There we go. Two attacks, right. Okay, I got the blink, so this is basically it. Uh, let me just not mess it up then. Eight damage, that's really good. So let's do it. Six, we can kill him. I'm gonna have enough for the blink. Uh, well, if I do that, I will. Well, I can kill him. And then do concentration. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now we can blink. Um, well, one of them hit me. Well, well, I do have another mirror image, so it should be fine. Well, let's not do it just yet. I can do it a bit later. Okay. Uh, right. So now we just blink this attack. There we go. So this one will leap and smack us. No, it will. Okay. Of course. Oh, twice. How many times are you hitting? Like, okay, first leap was right. Oh, first leap connected and then the other attack connected as well. Okay, not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. Well, it turns out it's not done yet. So I have a couple of things I can do here. I can do a dimensional rune or I can eat his damage. I can eat free more damage and hope I get something from the next card draw. Well, I can hard draw. But then I'll be not able to play whatever I drew, so that's not good. How do we get out of this situation? Mm. Yeah, these are really nasty. Maybe I could have played it a bit differently. So I need some arcane charges, but the only way to get them is by... Arcane thing, arcane blast, I can't hard draw into it. What else saves me? I just play the concentration, right? Yeah, I think I need to do these. And just hope for the best. Okay. Well, that's good. So I can do mirror image into blink. That's what we're gonna do here. Mm. 
I'm gonna get smacked again, I think. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, it damage to all. Okay, we are finally done here. Uh, I can use a chain breaker. This deck is hard to play. How long is this video anyway? Oof, pretty long. Um, so do I want to lose two more HP? So I only have two of these for the final fight. That's pretty subpar. Um, will I ever even get to the maximum HP this way? I don't know. Let's see. We shall see. Maybe I could play better, I don't know. Living Wolf Woods. The few remaining wolves start backing off and run away into the shadows. Safe at last, you take some time to look around and try to figure out where you are. Climbing on top of a nearby tree, you see the towers of a castle further to the east, probably the domain of the Countess of these woods. It could be a good place to spend the night, but something about it feels off. Looking to the west, though, you notice a part of the wood that seems to glow in an unusual blue light. Maybe this is worth investigating. Mm -mm. Well, I already decided where I'm gonna go. Moon robes, what the heck? Pure white robes that glow with an eerie light. They have the power to attract lost souls and can make their wearer invisible. Increase HP by 3 and make your start battles hidden. Can generate 6 souls by spending 3. Oh, interesting. Well, don't equip, but okay. The wizard has two out of three keys in the forest. Collecting all three keys will allow you to restart the forest from stage four instead of stage one by starting a new game with the wizard. Okay, well, I think I want to go castle, woods, beast trail, right? And the last one will go through here. Well, this will be the next one, but uh, I'm going to make a cut here. Ugh, not super happy about how this run went, but I don't know. If we don't have enough of these runes to be able to finish the last boss, then I guess we can always try again and try an easier route. It felt like these wolf woods were like super punishing for what I'm trying to do, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna make a cut here. If you're enjoying this, some likes would be pretty cool. If you like the channel in general, some subscriptions would be amazing. So in the meantime, I'm gonna try to finish this one off and you can check it out tomorrow if you were successful. So, yep, have a nice day, do something cool. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.